Today, we will demo an outage management scenario using IQGO's Workflow Manager solution. In Workflow Manager, outage tickets are generated through an integration that is based on outage events sent by the OMS system. On the left, we have the queue of tickets assigned to the crew. Here, we have an example of a ticket's details pertaining to a sample outage that comes from an OMS. Parameters in the ticket are populated and sent by the OMS to inform the crew. Such parameters typically include an address, customers affected by the outage, the device type and number and feeder. Regarding the device type, it's typically the device that triggered the outage event to begin with, and operational comments. The OMS system assigns the ticket to the crew. Once notified, before the crew is deployed, they will set the status of the ticket in Workflow Manager to en route and then route to the outage location. On the ticket, the crew can click on the navigation icon and enable get directions for routing capabilities. This routing engine leverages the Google Address API for routing. Since we are map centric, we will work from the map and show how a crew can execute their work using our out of the box functionality. We'll navigate to the map by clicking on the map tab to begin, notice the location of the outages in the map display and the vicinity of the crews by the truck locations in the map. As the crew arrives on site, they will set the ticket status to on site. We can do so by using the table view from the map. update the ticket. We'll hide the table view. The crew would then do a site assessment and complete what they can on the form. Next, we'll trigger the outage form, edit the form, and update its status to in progress. Also note the outage details in the form. Next, we'll move to the Restore tab. We'll either confirm or deny the location. Since we're at the proper location, we'll confirm it, but I'll show some of the configuration of the form. If the location was incorrect, we could roll up or roll down the location to adjust it. But in this case, since we're at the right location, we're going to hit Yes. We'll do the same for the Accept estimated restore time. But in this case, we're going to click no because we need to push out the time for the restoration. Update that time by about, say, two hours. Since the crew has materials needed for the job on the truck to repair the cross arm affecting the fuse on the pole, we'll update the operational comment with that information. Once the restoration has been completed, we'll move on to the Complete tab. The crew noticed that there's some follow-on work that needs to be assigned to the ticket because of some vegetation that's encroaching on the pole near the equipment that was being worked on today. So we'll select Yes on follow-on work. Follow-up group will identify veg management, give it a low priority, and then leave a note regarding what we saw. We'll also select the vegetation request, then click back over on outage details and set the outage form to complete. Notice we didn't complete damage assessment today. That'll be coming in a separate video. We also need to set the outage ticket to field complete. Update the ticket. Hide the table. Now the crew can move on to the next ticket assignment. This is another example of how IQGO performs digital work execution and how we streamline workflows for the end user by using our mobility solutions to make their job easier and more efficient. Thank you for watching.